Hello, Libras. I just got through putting some lotion on my hands. Um, but this is a reading for you guys to see who is in your energy, who you are still um, concentrating on or thinking about, and um, what they want with you. So we're going to take a look at that. Now, keep in mind that energy is energy. So sometimes you guys can come through in this reading because your energy is probably intermingled with this other person's energy. Okay, let's just be clear. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. That's <clears throat> what this is. Let's see, what messages do we have for Libras? Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. <clears throat> what else do we have? That one's poking out. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Lowering your expectations and realizing that, you know, people make mistakes. That people are human. You know, sometimes we want to hold um, other people's feet to the fire for things that they've done to us or wrongs that we have perceived that somebody has inflicted on us. So it's kind of like taking a break from that, managing expectations. We have wedding. This situation involves marriage. <clears throat> One more. Hmm. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. This involves a relationship where you guys felt like this was your person. And you hold them responsible for whatever happened here to cause a disconnect between the two of you. Using the vice versa tarot, there are images on both sides, so my eyes are closed. While I am shuffling and pulling cards, that one is standing out to me. Just because I don't want to be biased. Alright. Oh. Here we have strength. This is the usual um, depiction of strength. But here is more like the devil energy. Scorpio got this card um, as well. But this is someone giving in to their urges giving in to their vices, whatever that is. If they are easily angered, then that's what that is. They lose their temper really quickly. If this person is an addict, whether it's a sex addict or a drug addict or um, an alcoholic, you know, that's what they tend to turn to when things get tough. This Leo energy here. <clears throat> And then we have the Eight of Cups. This is somebody coming back, wanting to come back. This is the other side where they're actually walking away. Um, somebody is sitting in their feelings right now, Piscean energy. I feel like somebody is really sulking um, and feeling sorry for themselves, this person. <clears throat> Definitely feeling sorry for themselves here. They get lost in their, their feelings and emotions and however they deal with that is how they deal with that. You guys know. If this person tends to like shy away, um, just keep to themselves and not talk to you or, or they lash out at you, that is where this person is right now. I feel like they have a hard time uh, facing themselves, let alone you. Okay, and then we have the Ace of Swords here. Hmm. Sitting right on top of wedding. They really thought that you guys were going to be together. I feel like you, you were or are still in their head, their person. And I feel like there's something that they really want to say to you about this. <clears throat> and death.
basically transforming. This is like the Phoenix Rising almost. This is like the Phoenix Rising. Something has ended. Something has shifted. Something's changed about them. I don't know if they were holding on to you so very um, strong, but there's definitely something that they feel like needed to be over, needed to be done, needed to be um, put to bed. But they're trying to, um, they're trying to get their happy back. Scorpio energy. There's something that this person wants to say to you about um, a marriage. There's something that they want to convey to you, to get across to you, that something is over, something is done, something has changed in their situation. If you guys were not married to this person, then I feel that um, possibly they were married or they were in a relationship. But something's changed with that is the thing. Okay, let's clarify these cards. <clears throat> let's see, strength. Six of Pentacles. Definitely feel like this person, um, there's something about spending time with other people, giving to other situations. Giving to two people. This is Taurus energy here. The Eight of Cups. Sitting there looking at all of these feelings and emotions and, oh, that's too many cards. <clears throat> Eight of Cups. Okay, I'll take those two. We have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Page of Wands here. They felt lucky to have you. For some reason, I'm getting that this person didn't expect to have you. That when they came across you, they felt like they had hit the freaking jackpot. Sagittarius, Pisces, Aries energy. Why am I picking those up? That's not what I wanted. So just Ace of Swords, some type of wedding. <clears throat> okay. Two of Cups. And Seven of Swords, this person had deceived you. They deceived you and did not tell you the truth about a relationship or marriage that they were already involved in. For some of you, not all of you, for some of you, this person really wants you to know that they they want to marry you and that they have no feelings for their ex. They want you to know they have no feelings for their ex, that they have released their ex. But I think the, the whole thing is for you is that this person kept you in the dark and they lied to you. <clears throat> Let's see what this death energy is here. That one wanted to flip. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles has been riding into everybody's freaking reading. This is Taurus energy. <clears throat> They've been planning something for a while, and but it took them a long time to really get to a point where they were ready to release the ex. For some of you guys, you really felt like this person was involved with an ex, with an ex-wife, with an ex-husband, with an ex-girlfriend, boyfriend. Um, 
and that person was still lingering and it took them a long time to let them go it has taken them a long time to completely let them go so they probably were not really telling you the truth about it was over with it was done it was nothing because something was still lingering there but I feel like this person is at a point where they have released the ex or they're ready to release the ex okay it's just taking them a long time to get here so let's see what they want with you guys here what do they really want with Libras hmm what do they really want with Libras I don't know if I like that that temporary temporary situation depression anxiety worry that someone is against you hmm I think this person needs to have someone and so it's hard for them to let go of one situation completely before they have the other one locked in we have tent and we have vulture I feel and you guys probably already know this, but I, you know, sometimes I hate to be like the bearer of bad news, but I mean, I have to keep it real in, in what I see and what I feel. I feel that not that you guys were necessarily a temporary situation, but I feel like for some of you, this person did not expect for things to go as far as they did with you. They didn't expect um, for it to, to get to the level that it did. But they did not come, in, come into this situation like you guys were going to truly be together. I do feel like they fell for you unexpectedly. And I think they are at a point where they know that they need to make a solid decision one way or the other because they can't have you and have their ice cream and their pie. They can't have all of that. And I think you guys have stood your ground with them because now it's like made them move in a certain way. But they didn't come into it with the intentions, I feel, of, of you guys really being a, a solid couple. But it happened, I feel. But they were already like involved in something else. If nothing more than on an emotional level. Or a commitment that they had already made previously, okay? So that is what I have for you guys, and um, I'll be speaking with you soon. Namaste.